Marco Arnaldo, Django 2015, filming from the booth of Palpozaro Games. I'm here with Jack Emmert, who is the designer of Conan Rise of Monsters, and he has agreed to tell us a little bit about the game. Thank you, Jack. Sure. So right now, we have in our exciting setup right here, uh, the forces of Set battling against the forces of Conan. So now, our intrepid uh, adventurer right here, he is going to be uh, commanding the priests of Set and their sorcerous abilities. So if you take a look at the unicard, the very first number is movement. So that's an inch, six inches. That's your melee attack. That's the number of dice each figure in the unit rolls. The next number is ranged attack. So that's the number of, of dice for any ranged attacks. Range is the distance they can attack. And then defense, we're gonna get to in a second, and wounds is the number of wounds each model has, okay? All right, so your, your sorcerers, probably the best thing to do is cast a spell. You can pick any target you want. The, the, there's an Olifant, Conan, and some archers. What are you interested in? Um, cast a spell and some archers. Okay. So you cast the spell at the archers. So you've got, now you do the math. You've got three figures, two dice each. So how many dice are you gonna roll on attack? Six. Okay, grab six of the set dice, which by the way, these come uh, in the Kickstarter. Okay, now, you also have a special ability, so if you read that, what does your hex magic do? Uh, I get to re-roll any ranged attack dice. Yeah, so, so what's take the ability a again? So it is re-roll any ranged attack dice that roll a sigil. Mm -hmm. So if you take a look, these actually roll two sigils, so you can re-roll both of those. Sigils are special. Whenever they come up, it usually triggers a special ability of one of the units. So now you have another hit, so you've done a total of four hits. Okay, now, I'm the defender, I'm the archers, and so I take one die for each hit, so that's four dice. Somebody stole my dice. And then, if you take a look at my card, the Bostonian archers have a defense of one. They're a defensive one. So one for each plus one for defense. Okay, so I'm gonna roll five dice in total. Okay, so I've rolled two shields. So I've blocked two of them. That means that I'm going to take two wounds. So that's the basics of the game mechanics, okay? Now, what makes this interesting? Number one are the special abilities. Those are triggered whenever a sigil comes up, usually. Some special abilities don't depend on that. The other thing are the fake cards. And these are crazy things that, for example, this ignores one wound, right? You just play that. Um, Adds defense dice, right? Any number of things. Some of these are a unit can activate, or you get an extra activation. So you can play fake cards at any time during your turn. And the second major game mechanic is destiny tokens. Destiny tokens refill every single turn, and they're determined at the beginning of the game. So it stays at that level. And you can spend destiny tokens to add dice to your attack roll, your defense roll, even add inches to your movement. So that's the basic process. And is it scenario based? Meaning uh, the victory question. conditions depend on the scenario? So we're going to have a random scenario generator. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're also going to have a campaign book with the Kickstarter, which is active right now. And so uh, we're really, we want to create a story based narrative that goes on for years. So the game is on Kickstarter right now? Yep, it just uh, started on Kickstarter as of 10.05 this morning, so what time is it now? 10.45? Yes. Yeah, I wonder what it's at. And this great gentleman actually pledged here at the booth on our laptop, and so he received, did you, which pledge did you do? Uh, the 190. Oh, so he received both miniatures for free. Both. So that's and both Thothmont, huh? And, the uh, and you get a pin. Hey. Well, thank you very much for Thank you very much. About the game. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.